All right, so I bought like three of these to flip because they sell on eBay for around a hundred bucks. Then you can turn them around on Reverb for around one hundred sixty, like maybe two hundred if they're in good condition. But I'm keeping this one. I'm gonna replace the volume pot right there. But so I got to be quick and to the point because this is an Instagram video. One minute. So Boss HM2 pedal right here. Um, flip it over. Distortion pot is broken off, and I'm trying to figure out where I can get a replacement for this. Um, it says M250KD right there, and then 81V over here, so the 250K pot. Um, I'm assuming I could get one from another distortion pedal to work just fine in here. I don't know if like certain pots are made for certain pedals, but I would assume, because usually volume pots are pretty universal. So I'd, I'd imagine a pedal with four volume knobs, I could just get a pot from one of those and replace it. So if anyone at Roland wants to send me a DM, let me know if I'm right or if I'm wrong, where I can find a replacement pot or anything like that. Just let me know. Um, it, it'd really help out. Thanks. All right, so I got this 250K pot right here. Um, I just bought it online. But the only problem is, is that it's too big to fit in here on the edge. Now, if it were in one of the middle holes, here, I'm going to put my phone down for a second. If it were in one of the middle holes like this, it probably would be fine. But since it's on the edge, it doesn't fit. So what I'm going to do is I've been looking through these other pedals to see if I can find a 250K pot. No luck, but I looked in my noise suppressor, which is like the last place I would have imagined to find one. But I found one right there if it'll focus. Kind of see that. There we go, 250k pot right here. So I'm gonna swap this one out with this because this one is in one of the middle holes. It's in that second hole from the right. So yeah, I'm thinking this one's gonna fit in my noise suppressor. Gonna swap this one out, put it in the gain section over here. So hopefully that works. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, so about after an hour of some very, very painful extracting and some snipping of these little terminals right here, which I really didn't want to do, but I ended up having to do, as you can see right there, um, I got this pot out of there. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach some wires here, so it doesn't really matter that these are cut off. So anyway, yeah. All right, so I got this pot hooked up to the noise suppressor. I tested it all and it works perfectly and just soldered these wires to the pot into these little connections right here. There we go. All I have to do right now is put grounding on, which is basically putting a wire or two wires off the back of the pot and then soldering them into these two little holes right here. That just kind of grounds it, makes sure it's grounded, <laughs> gets rid of excess noise basically. So yeah. All right. So I got that pot wired up. It's the decay knob right here. That's what I was replacing and it works perfectly. It's just a little bit lopsided, which I don't even know if you guys can really see that on camera, but it is a little bit, and, but it turns, it works. It It's fine. I don't really care. looks cooler anyway. But so now what we got to do next is we got to get this pot that I stole out of here and then replaced it. So we got to get this and put it in here and wire it up. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I ran into a little issue right here. So let's see if it'll focus. There we go. So that little brown spot right here, that is where the contact came off. Like there's a metal contact that goes there. If it'll focus, there we go. So that came off. So if I try to solder to that, as you can see right there, it just chars everything around it. So luckily I know how to get around that. So if you follow that down, if you follow that little green trail down, it goes to right here and I can just solder directly to that in theory. So we'll see if that works. All right, so I got everything soldered in place and I ended up just bypassing everything and just soldering directly to the board because this is in such, like if you look at that, that is in such bad condition. It just wasn't doing anything. So I just bypassed all that and hand wired it. And it actually... <laughs> funny thing i've got another pedal right here and i'm gonna flip this one so i'm not keeping both of them i'm gonna keep this one but this one's going up for sale but i compared both distortion knobs like plugged them both in and they both sound exactly the same so i consider that a success got it hand wired right there 
So yeah, it's working perfectly fine. I'm gonna put it together and show you guys how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna waste no time right now. So what we're gonna do is we're shooting out this pedal that I just repaired, the distortion, versus the distortion on this pedal that was already working. So I recorded a little riff right here on my looper pedal. Here we go. Alright, so as you can hear, they're pretty much identical, so I repaired the distortion knob on this pedal, and this pedal was already working, so I'm pretty proud of my work right here, and I think it was a massive success.